This woman just entered the room and took off her jacket. She reviews her beautiful leather jacket inside. She is a beautiful, professional assassin. She poses as a prostitute to get close to her target. Seeing this beautiful woman, he dropped all his defenses. They even played a little game of whip. But the next moment, the killer succeeded in his mission. The frantic knocking on the door outside did not alarm her. Instead, she looked at her watch and panicked. It was time for her husband to leave work. She ripped the pool tab off her purse and hung it on the wall. Then she leapt from the top floor. She got home before her husband did. In fact, her husband was no ordinary man. You can tell by the blood on his collar. He said he was going to play cards. He was also on a mission. There was someone he wanted to kill at the table. The couple are professional killers who belong to different organizations. Jack and Annie were married for five years. They hide their identities from each other. They were on various assassination missions behind the scenes. Until this day, the couple received a mission at the same time. Jack went down to the basement to pick out the right weapon. Annie took advantage of her husband's absence. She went to the oven and pressed a button on it. Immediately, a variety of weapons appeared. Jack arrives at the office. He uses the computer to find out who he's going to assassinate. He's a man nicknamed Tank, and his wife's team is even more powerful. What's surprising is that her target is also a tank. The scene goes to a desert. The tank is being escorted. Annie arrives early at the designated location. She has planted explosives on the road in advance. She just has to detonate the explosives, and the mission is easily accomplished. But just then, an SUV burst in. In order to keep the explosives from being detonated by the SUV, Annie had to suspend the plan. She looked through her binoculars. She saw that it was a civilian. She looked into the distance, and the convoy of escorting tanks immediately entered the target area. She looks back again. This man is carrying a rocket launcher. Annie doesn't hesitate. She aimed a shot at him. Luckily, Jack was wearing a bulletproof vest, which saved his life, but he wasn't a man to suffer. He picked up the rocket launcher and aimed it at the cabin on the hill. Due to computer damage, the prepared explosives exploded prematurely. The convoy saw the situation and immediately stopped moving forward. The couple's mission failed. Annie returned to the office and was scolded by her superiors. They demanded that she kill the witnesses within 48 hours. She watched the surveillance footage repeatedly. She noticed this man's behavior. It was her husband. Jack wasn't idle either. He used the computer he found at the scene to find the IP address. It showed the company where his wife worked. He couldn't believe it. And his assistant got a call from Jack. They agreed to meet for dinner at 7 p.m. It was meant to be an extraordinary dinner. The wife was cutting a steak with a knife. The husband offered to help her cut it. She pulls out a longer knife. Annie asked Jack to try her steak, but she only ate the greens. Jack didn't know what to do, so he spits out the beef by wiping his mouth. The seemingly harmonious dinner had a hidden agenda. Jack gets up to pour his wife a drink, but the next moment, Annie hesitated and let go of his hand. The two of them split up to find tools to clean up. Jack pulls a gun from the house. Annie took the opportunity to drive away. Jack wanted to talk to his wife. He went after her. On his way over the fence, the gun accidentally discharged. The bullet almost hit Annie. She didn't think her husband would hit her so hard. She hit the gas and crashed into him. Jack tried to clear up the misunderstanding. He kicked out the window and entered the car. But his wife didn't give him a chance to explain and jumped out of the car. And Jack followed the car down the hill. The next day Annie came home with her men. She searched every corner of the house to determine the identity of her husband's killer. When Jack returned home, all the weapons in the basement were gone. He was so angry that he lashed out at the air. So, Jack posed as a construction worker and went to his wife's business. But it was all in Annie's hands. She trapped Jack in the elevator. The elevator's cable was filled with explosives. Annie gave him an ultimatum. Either he gets out of here, or he would be blown up. But Jack thought they had been married for five years. His wife wouldn't be so cruel, and he doesn't let him get away with it either. She started a countdown to scare her husband off. But what she didn't expect, she didn't expect her subordinate to believe it, and set off the explosives. Annie looked at her assistant with astonishment. At night, Annie drank alone. She could not help but have tears running down her face. Then a familiar hand held her. It turned out that Jack was not dead. He had changed the cameras in the elevator long before he entered his wife's company. And her assistant blew up the other elevator. Jack thought his wife was really going to kill him. And he came here to divorce Annie. He asked his wife to dance. On the dance floor, they start to test each other again. Jack pulls a flying knife from her body. Annie was not to be outdone. After the dance, Annie walked straight to the bathroom. And then there was a violent explosion. 
the restaurant was in chaos. Annie followed the crowd and left the scene. Jack chased her outside. His wife was long gone. A man on the sidelines heard the commotion. He asked him why he was out with an alarm clock. Jack listened and took off his jacket in a panic. His wife's actions infuriated him. Jack called his wife and agreed to end it at home. Have you ever seen such a hardcore fight between a couple? His wife was clad in ammunition. She had a left hand charge and a right hand shotgun. And her husband only had a small pistol. In just one encounter, the shotgun went right through the wall, nearly killing her husband. Jack was no slouch either. He found the right moment to shoot his wife wildly. A very skillful set of moves. He was a top killer, just as they were losing each other's positions. Jack accidentally touches the teapot. He exposed his position. His wife started shooting in the direction of the sound. Five years of marriage didn't make them go soft. Instead, they shot each other in the face. To kill each other, Jack pulled out the gas pipe, and he fired a shot that triggered a direct explosion. Jack took advantage of the opportunity to approach his wife. The two began to fight in close combat. In terms of strength, a woman is no match for a man. Annie is not stupid. She picked up the iron pot on the ground. Until they were exhausted from the fight, they rolled over and each picked up a weapon from the ground. Just as they were about to end their fight, her husband dropped his gun at that moment. He said that if one of them had to fall today, then please kill me. His wife's eyes became moist after hearing that. After all, they had been married for five years. They loved each other. After a night of communication, the couple made up as before. But at that moment, the killers had arrived at the door. They blew up the house straight away. The couple fled in their car. The killers were in hot pursuit. Luckily, the two of them worked well together. After a hard battle, they finally took care of their pursuers. Fleeing is not the answer after all. They had to find out why the organization wanted to kill the couple. The two of them decided to find the guy named Tank. After taking out the guards, they finally met Tank. From the other side, they learned that this is actually a conspiracy between the organization. The organization had already known about their marriage. They wanted to use each other's hands to clean up their business. At this moment, a large group of assassins arrived. It turns out that the tank's belt is equipped with a positioning system. Even if he escaped, in the future, they will face endless hunting. They made a decision. They went to a supermarket to prepare for the next battle. It didn't take long for the killer to pinpoint their location. The couple hid in the darkness. They took the lead and knocked out a few punks. And he was not to be outdone. With her flying dagger, she quickly took out several of her enemies. She also took a shot at her husband to strengthen her family's position. As the number of enemies grew, the two were forced into the elevator and upstairs. Annie takes cover from above with a sniper rifle. Jack is on the ground, fighting off the enemy, despite the fact that they are both top killers. But the enemy is getting bigger and bigger. Annie is shot down from a height. Jack rushes to his aid. The two men are forced into the cabin. Bullet holes in their vests are riddled with bullets. They have gunshot wounds of varying degrees of severity. They tended to each other's wounds, gather their equipment, then they rushed out together to finish with the killer group. In a hail of bullets, the couple worked well together. Soon they solved all the killers. After this test of life and death, the couple seemed to know each other again. They started a new life with a new identity.